Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. I do hope you're having a wonderful day of course, happy Thursday or whenever you are watching this. And for this episode we are going to be doing a scenario on the East Coastway. And the scenario that I have picked out today is Eastbourne End. And the synopsis is complete the final portion service to Eastbourne and then take the train out of service for the night. So that is exactly what we are going to do. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday, of course, so whenever you are watching this. Welcome to Lewis. Please swap the, the driver of the train on platform three and complete its run through to Eastbourne. OK, we will do just that. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Go this way then. Oh my life, this is a bit stuttery. Where are we going? Uh, looks like we're going around here. There we are, this is platform three. If I can close the door, it'll be much appreciated. There we are, wonderful. Okay, prepare the train to depart, set the master key to on. Set the direction switch to forward. And load passengers. There we are. And before I get moaned at, let's turn on all the safety systems if we can find it. Okay, there we are. That all looks good. And I know we've got some safety systems around here somewhere. There we are, over here. Right, let's turn on the DRA. AWS Vigilance And that is it, there we are Wonderful And this train has a combined brake throttle system, so I'm only using one button here for the brake and the throttle, so that is wonderful. And what we've got here, 40 miles an hour. And we should actually probably get some lights on, shouldn't we? Headlights, night running, that's fine. Tail lights are going to be on. Wonderful. Because otherwise, I know there will be people that are moaning and like, Beaver, you haven't done everything correctly. Okay, 60 miles an hour. Give a toot to the train going in the other direction. There we are. And whilst we're going along here, I think we should probably get a nice thumbnail here. I mean to do that. There we go, wonderful. Okay, and we are going that way.
Okay, so we're just going to get some braking action going here because we are going to be stopping in Glynid, I believe is how you pronounce that. Not entirely sure about that. If you do like, do know, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, that's how we're going to pronounce it anyway. Right, get some braking action going. Where's the door open, Van? Is it that one? Nope, that's still open. Ah, oh, it's up here, isn't it, I think? Door release, there we go. Yeah, the weather is absolutely beautiful. It's looking very nice indeed. What time and day is it anyway? Let's have a look. 17th of May. Oh, no wonder it's so nice. Yeah, I'm wondering if this door works. I know that one does. Though so, unusually we don't have a specific time of arrival at the stations. Which is very odd. Normally you have a time there when it says that you need to be. But uh yeah. Either they trust us or this scenario just doesn't have that.
start getting some braking action in here because we are approaching the next stop at Berwick. And we definitely don't want to overshoot the platform now. Otherwise, we'll be having a stern word from our manager back at the control room. Which is something definitely that we want to avoid. So I do hope you are enjoying this episode of Train Sim World 3, guys, and if you are, like, it's very, very much appreciated. And if you feel like I've earned it, then a subscription is always very welcome. So yeah, as of uh, recording this episode, the game has had an update recently, as, as you probably saw at the beginning. It is a little bit choppy, but in the actual train cab it does seem to be okay. The moving around outside, it was a little bit, a little bit iffy. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that scenery on the south coast. Okay, start slowing down here. So, oh, speed change to 35, that's why we've got a yellow aspect.
So next stop is Hampton Park and I'm not sure how many stops we have left until the end of this service. But the speed did just pick up to 70 miles an hour there so we can put our foot down as if it were. And yeah, I don't know if you saw that at the last station, but the train on the opposite line was having a bit of a uh, moment there with it glitching out some sort of texture that was not quite right. I'm wondering if that has something to do with the uh, latest update that was released recently. Oh, that's pretty cool. You actually click on the phone to request permission to proceed. I like details like that. Okay, next stop is East Spawn, which is going to be the end of this service. What we got here for speed limits, 70 miles an hour, wonderful. Okay, got speed limits coming up to 55 and we have a double yellow aspect, so we are going to get on the brakes.
And there we are, guys. That is the end of this service. That's the Plubbix service completed for tonight. Please take this train out of service over to the yard for cleaning and storage until tomorrow. We will do just that. So we will open the door and let people off. Set the, set the direction switch to off. Okay. Master key to off. And head to the other end. We will do just that. There we are. Not that way. <laughs> In here. There we go. Wonderful. There we are, we want to change this from tail lights off, we want to put the headlights on night running. And we will request permission to proceed. Although we do still have a red aspect in front of us for some reason. Why that would be red, I don't know. Let's proceed to signals indicate, however, it is red for us. So I'm presuming that means please wait. There's an obstruction ahead. And you cannot proceed just yet. So we will abide by it. Hopefully we won't be sat here too long. Any time today turning to green for us would be very much appreciated. Let's have a look outside just to make sure the other one hasn't gone green. Nope, they are all red. I don't see any trains down there. So why we're being held here is a complete mystery. The only thing I can think of is that there's something not quite ready for us. Maybe we're early or something. Whilst I'm doing that, just check and make sure all these systems are on. There we are. Hmm. 
Okay, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I'm pretty sure this is broken. I mean, there's not that much of a chance we would have been held here for that long at this time of night. I mean, there's literally no other trains around. So, yeah, I do and hope you enjoyed that episode of Train Sim World 3. And until the next episode, take care.